Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sokha from the Wildlife Conservation Society, Cambodia. Uh, excited to share with you the work that we are working on the wildlife health of land in the country. Yep. So uh, WCS uh, originated from the uh, Zoological Park. So we've been involved in the wildlife health work uh, for every uh, country program, including Cambodia. And uh, we have been engaged in the wildlife health surveillance work for almost uh, 20 years through different projects. Uh, in uh, both the uh, active and passive surveillance, we were lucky to get some fund from the European Union and the DETRA to develop a wildlife health surveillance network. Uh, this network was composed by three main components, the field actor, which include community, forest ranger, uh, researchers and the uh, uh, rescue center. Uh, central unit play a very important role to bridge the communication between the field and the finding of the case uh, through the decision that made by the working group which act as a steering committee so that all the communication between these uh, three components uh, 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 communicate well. So the working group itself formed by the Ministry of Agriculture Ministry of Environment uh, and uh, Institute Pasteur that we work closely together to develop a standard operation procedure and the protocol so that all actors and partners can carry out their uh, activities that support the network appropriately. And that's the way that we think is for the, to maintain and to sustain the, the network as well. We identify that the field actor play a very important role uh, the quality of data collection and their own safety are very important. Therefore, the training for the uh, wildlife mortality and morbidity detection and the, uh, how safely uh, they can collect the sample and pack the sample sent to the lab uh, have been provided to them. And we also provide them the appropriate uh, equipment so that they can carry out at the daily activities. In addition to that, the pathology team act very important role as well to for the primary detection uh, and especially exam the carcass that had been sent for, from the field. So necropsy training has been provided to the pathology team at the NAPRI and similar training also provided to uh, animal health worker, uh, animal health officer, which uh, who are uh, graduate from the covered program. And through the duration of the project we be able to get a uh, report of the case from different parts of the country. Uh, the report has been uh, provided by the forest ranger, community, uh, conservation staff, and, uh, and the rescue center. So th those uh, cases uh, were detected in mostly in the uh, protected area and uh, wildlife habitat. We also learned some good case through the network uh, the first ever cases of uh, avian inf uh, African swine fever were detected in wild boar. The first ever cases uh, of uh, lumpy skin uh, disease detected in the wild ungulate. And uh, avian influenza uh, virus detected in the uh, wild bird population. So each of those cases, actually, we uh, got from the field, but we also uh, communicate the finding from the lab to the community, to the provider as well, so that they can mitigate the, 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 the risk further in their community. Uh, we see that the, the data from the field are very important. So therefore, we try to adopt the smart patrol, which being used by thousands of uh, uh, forest rangers to a smart hell, so that they can more effectively to de uh, collect the data in the field. And this smart uh, uh, data, that we call Smart Health can be synchronized to the Wildlife Health Intelligent Platform. So the platform can act as the, uh, to generate the data from the field and uh, through the, the whole incident cases so that can generate this uh, report and share the report to all key partners and most importantly to the decision maker so that they can take action to respond to the case and incident in appropriate, uh, uh, appropriately and the timely manner. Uh, I would like to take that opportunity also to thank to all our partners here uh, from the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Environment, uh, Ministry of Health, 
uh, the conservation organization, Rescue Center, and the development partner such as FAO, WHO, and USCDC for their uh, well collaborative and support to the network. Thank you so much. <laughs>